Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. So for dinner tonight, we are having chicken and vegetable pot stickers. We've had these before and I really like them a lot. I got them from Tom Thumb or Randall's or um, Albertson's, just depending on where you live. And so here is what's in them. You get green onion, cabbage, chicken, and soy and ginger seasoning seasonings and um, you also get some dipping sauce so this bag um, came with two dipping sauces and so here's our little bowl of dipping sauce coincidentally it looks just like the one on the package I just noticed that that's kind of funny so you can either pan fry these or deep fry these so we pan fried them and there it is. And then we are just having some rice with it. Normally I would make some stir fried rice, but I just did not feel like it today. So I used what we have in our pantry, which is this um, Near East Rice Pilaf Original Mix. And um, I was looking at my plate and I realized it looks kind of pale. I wish I'd had a green vegetable or something to, th to uh, throw in there, but I just did not feel like making a green vegetable tonight. Anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having wood fire margarita pizza. This is from Sam's, and you get two pizzas in this box. There it is, it says a two pack. And I think these were about 10 bucks. Howard and I tried these one time when they were having samples at Sam's, and we really, really liked it. So here is the pizza out of the oven. You were supposed to bake it directly on the oven um, rack, and that is what I did. And it looks really good, smells really good. I'm just letting it cool a little bit. It has tomato on there, basil, mozzarella cheese, um, and then it also has some, um, what, what is it called? Hard, no, I'm sorry, aged hard cheese, which is this right here. It's not actually onions, it's just another type of cheese. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having leftovers. And I normally don't show my leftovers unless I'm using them in a different way. And so tonight I am. So we had some leftover taco meat, and um, I also had some leftover Fritos from some chili. We had just a few Fritos left in the bag. So I decided to make a kind of like a Frito taco salad type thing, but the lettuce was bad, so I don't actually have any lettuce. So what you see in my bowl is the ground beef, um, the taco meat, and then you'll see the Fritos, the salsa, and the cheese, so that's what I'm having. And Howard is just having leftover pizza. As you can see, he has a ton of red pepper flakes on there. He loves eating his pizza like that, so he's having pizza. And then for dessert, I'm just gonna pop a few of these in the oven. I already opened them the other week and tasted them, and I just keep them in the freezer and pop out a couple of them when I you know, just have a taste for them. But I don't remember ever seeing these before, um, but they're actually pretty good. They're Toll House. They are white chip lemon, and I'll zoom in on it so you can see it. So it's just white chocolate chips, and they the cookie itself is lemon flavored. So it's um, pretty good, and it's just a seasonal item. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, um, we are having stir fried green beans and fresh mushrooms. So these are the green beans that I picked up from a Sam's haul. I'll try to remember to link the video. I said I wasn't sure about these frozen green beans because I usually get my green beans from Aldi's or from Trader Joe's, but they had these in a four pack of these French, you know, like the skinny green beans. They had them in four one pound bags and I think it was $6.99. And so I just stir fried the green beans up with some garlic and fresh mushrooms. And um, I think like, I, I kind of feel like they were a little bit tough, um, but Howard said he didn't think they were. So maybe I just, you know, got a bad one for a sample. So we're having that. And then we're also having herb and butter rice. And we are using this um, nor rice sides, and we've never had that before. I tasted a little bit of it, and it's actually pretty good. So we're having that. 
And then we are having some Parmesan encrusted tilapia. And here's what the package looks like. It is from Sam's and my mom gave this to me. And um, it seems like every time I go home and, and visit my parents, she's always giving me something. So I don't know, does your mom still do that? So I take it, I was happy to accept it. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. Howard actually cooked this entire meal. He grilled some ribs and uh, here they are. That's an end piece right there. And then he made some mashed potatoes and these are the mashed potatoes that he used. We've never tried these before and they're actually pretty good. They call for milk and um, water, that's it. And as you can see, they're light and fluffy and they're actually really good. And then he just stir fried some green beans. He used the um, frozen green beans that we got from Sam's. Um, so we're having that. Actually, these are the same ones that I um, made last night, but we ate them all and so he made some more. So that's it and that's the garlic that you see in there. And then for dessert, I stopped by this place called The Cake Bar here where we live and it's not exactly close to us. So I got a couple of different desserts for each of us since I don't make it down there all the time. So Howard really likes pineapple um, upside down cake. And so this is his, and that's what it looks like. And then he also likes bread pudding and he's had it before and he said, this is really good. I don't eat bread pudding at all. Just trying to show you guys, there it is. And I think it has raisins in there. So he likes that kind of stuff. And I really like their German chocolate cake. So I got two pieces of the German chocolate cake. Of course, we're not gonna eat all of these desserts in one sitting, but um, I just grabbed some of our favorites while I was there. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.